Thanks for joining me today with Stamping with Loretta. By popular request, I am going to show you guys how to disable a mousetrap so you can use it for an arts and crafts project. I'm going to show you the ones I just got from a swap online. Um, Bunny made these. Um, I will tell you they are not disabled and they are actually dangerous. Um, I don't feel like they're going to just click out, um, but these wires are still in place and I'll show you that in a minute. These are what has to be moved to keep this mouse trap from going off and potentially breaking your fingers. Um, it can cause really, really serious damage. It's meant to kill a mouse. It can break bones. Okay. All right. Now, with that being said, it's kind of, ew. I, I'm not a big fan of mice, nor am I of snakes or any other critters. They belong outside, not in my house. Now, um, I do want to take just a minute and say thank you so much, everybody. Um, we did lose Lexi last week. Um, it was really hard to put her down. She was 11 and a half, but her health had gotten so bad. And she was having accidents all over her house. And it was very bittersweet, but to see her at complete peace, um, even during the administration of the euthanasia, um, it was it was very peaceful and I miss her already and the other dogs miss her and uh, but we we thank you for your thoughts and your prayers and if there's a puppy heaven she's in it uh, we know that for sure but um, okay so today let's get into this mousetrap and before I get into the mousetrap here's the giveaway okay I'm gonna give you a mousetrap that's decorated what did I do with it <laughs> uh, a mousetrap that's decorated okay. And a cigar box. There's going to be a $50 um, gift card to the big box store of your choice. And there will be some other homemade goodies in your box. If you're in Canada, please note that I will ship them um, with a customs label. I am not going to pay the extra money to, um, to track those packages. It's just too cost, you know, too much for me right this minute. So with that being said, um, Leave comments below this video or on my blog, anywhere you want on my blog, and I will put your name in the hat, and we will draw for the giveaway in about a week. So stay tuned for that, and I'll draw right here on, online so that you guys can see it. So let's get started. We'll be back in a second. Okay, to start with, there's a few supplies you absolutely have to have to disable these mouse traps two pairs of pliers okay this is because sometimes you need an extra set of hands and this is your gonna be your extra set of hands I'll see if I need them this time I didn't last time I did this um, my um, husband isn't here to help me with these t this time so the little arms will stay on but the trap will be disabled um, okay first of all here's your mouse trap and we're gonna remove this little yellow platform. This platform is where the mouse would come get its little treat. And you're just going to pop that off. Obviously we're not going to be reusing the mouse trap, so if it breaks, it breaks. Throw it away. Um, or use it on the scrapbook page. I don't know. Okay, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to move this pin right here. This is the pin that goes up to arm the trap and it's got to come off. So that it, there's a little tiny staple right there that we're going to take off first. So remove the staple and you're going to throw that away. Now some people take this and they dangle something off of it. Um, I do not need that so this is going to come off as well. This can be a little tricky. So let me zoom in a little bit more for you guys so you can see. It's got a little loop in one end. Just grab those with your pliers and use some force to open it up enough to get it off and it comes right off. Okay, now for the mouse trap itself. As you can see, there are two wires over, th well, this one only has one. Sometimes they have two wires over that trap door. Can you see that? See the wire? Okay, we're going to take this wire and we're going to move it so it's not dangerous anymore. So I'm going to zoom in a little bit more for you. And you're going to pick this up gently. Try to keep your hand as much out of the way as you can 
and you're going to pick this up over the arm just like that. See? That means this mousetrap is now disabled. So it's not good. It's no longer a danger. If um, you're strong, then you can take these with a pair of wire cutters and cut off the ends so that they're close. And you can leave the staples or um, anything else that's on the trap that you want. You can paint it. You can cover it with paper. Um, let's go back to bunnies. Beautiful, beautiful work, young lady. I'm going to disable it. Okay, so here we are. There's that wire that makes this trap dangerous. I'm going to hold my breath. Um, and I'm just going to pick it up and move it. So it is now, this one does have two wires, as you can see. I'm trying to be very gentle. As this piece is absolutely gorgeous, I want to show you some details of it here. Okay, now I'm going to zoom back out so you can see this project that she made. Okay, there's actually something in this little pouch. It's a tiny, tiny, tiny little tag in there. Isn't that cute? I mean, how tiny is this? It's gorgeous. All the details she put in here, I am amazed. It is just beautiful work. Um, I don't know that I'd have the patience to do something quite that tiny, but I want to give it a try. So here's her other mouse trap. Um, this actually, I think I it dropped off. That's okay. Um, this one, also this folds out, and this folds out, and there's little goodies inside of here. And she she just decorated it. It's really, it's just adorable. Okay, so I'm going to lay this one down on my desk and zoom back in. Hopefully I'm not making you guys too dizzy here. A little too much. And same thing. I'm going to disable this mouse trap. You need to be very careful when doing this. Just move that wire off of that trap door. And so now your, your mouse trap is completely disarmed and it's ready to decorate. Thanks for joining me today. I hope that you'll go and buy some mouse traps. I got four of them for like $2.30 at the Walmart. And um, they're fun to decorate. They're fun to paint. You can do so many different things with something that's meant for death and destruction, honestly. Um, and make it beautiful. And I hope that you'll start looking at other things that um, you may not think of as art. Think of what you can do with a paint stick stirring thing. Yeah, that was good, Loretta. Paint, stick, stir. There you go. And um, I'm leaving that one in because it was kind of funny. I appreciate you guys' time. I hope you have a great day. Don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe, and enter for the drawing for the um, giveaway for my 500 subbies. Thank you so much, everyone who has subscribed and who follow my blog and my video. I appreciate it a whole bunch. And I look forward to having some more FaceTime with you and some more video tutorials. So stand happy and be a blessing. Above all, be a blessing. Take care. I'll talk to you soon.